Assalamu alaikum guys. So I was scrolling through Twitter and I realized just pearly things has a question. Did Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam date a nine year old or not? Why is everyone arguing about this? He either did or he didn't. So Brother Muhammad Hijab had a response. Date, are you okay? If you want to ask questions about Islam, I suggest you do it with humility, otherwise I will remind you of the rejection you felt in your high school days quicker than you can fit into a size fourteen shoe. And so little pearly thing said, Now I am being threatened for asking a question? And Muhammad Hajab says, I thought you make content about women who victim play. Didn't think you'd be doing it for yourself. <sighs> and then she continues to say provocative things like, Others are saying it is okay he's screwed, a nine-year-old, because it was a different time. Okay, I could get maybe 13 or 12, but nine? Now to all those simps who simp for her, I'm talking about the Muslim brothers, you now have to make a decision. She may say half truths and she may say things that are pleasing to the ears, but so does the devil. Now, this is a difference because Muhammad Hijab has seen beyond the things that she says, the fantasies that she tries to display for men, and that she uses logic and rationality and Islam to say that this person's filth. Because realistically, if he were to put her opinions aside with what Islam teaches, they will be completely the opposite. Second of all, these people are kafars. Essentially, a lot of them are enemies of Islam, even down to the people she associates with, like this guy Destiny, who has said the most disgusting things about Islam, who goes around promoting liberalism and degeneracy. Let's not forget she sat down with far-right nationalist Nick Fuentes. As far as I'm concerned, these people are nothing but agents who have come to cause corruption on the land. Their speech, their rhetoric is divisive, is dangerous. There's no haq in what they're saying. There's no rationality or logic, but because human beings can become slaves to their desires, we cannot differentiate between what is good for us and what sounds good. What are your thoughts, guys?